I would really like to tell you something more uh, or, or tell you even something about uh, how Slovakia, uh, Slovak society uh, reflects genocide and uh, genocide in, in uh, Srebrenica in particular. Uh, since we are a country and uh, a country which I have to admit that uh, with a really shameful period of time during uh, Second World War, uh, Second World War uh, when also uh, Slovak uh, ruling regime uh, committed genocide against uh, Slovak uh, Jews and uh, participated on, uh, on Holocaust during the Second uh, World War. So, uh, I would like to uh, discuss maybe some crucial or key points of uh, my uh, paper and my presentation. So, uh, during in the first part of the presentation, I try to elaborate the analysis of the press uh, published in Slovakia. I would say uh, this part has been devoted to uh, mainstream uh, dailies and uh, journals. Uh, the, the second part should be devoted to analysis of the historiography, uh, which should be a vital part, but uh, I have to say and I have to emphasize that uh, the books or the titles uh, uh, discussing the issue of uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina and even more in particular the, uh, the Bosnian war and uh, the genocide in Srebrenica uh, are currently absent in, in uh, our country. Uh, well, uh, some of the books have been published. For example, a very interesting book by, uh, it's, a, it's a kind of a memoir uh, book uh, by Slovak ambassador in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Miroslav Mojita, Sarajevo, Čakanje uh, na in Slovak and uh, in English, Sarajevo, Waiting for Swallows. Uh, but uh, in this part, I tried to focus on uh, Czech uh, books and uh, scientific articles. Uh, which uh, were published. Uh, I think it's, uh, it was uh, natural for me and uh, uh, for this presentation since uh, the scientific circles in uh, Slovakia and Czech Republic are really tightly connected still after partition in 1993. So it's, uh, we, all, we often say that it's uh, one, one region, one, uh, one historiography uh, doing by, uh, made by two, two parts. Uh, so even there, there, there are some uh, translations of, uh, of the books on uh, Srebrenica genocide. Uh, even some are uh, controversial, but they are uh, possible uh, to, to read. So uh, the next part uh, is the question of Srebrenica genocide in, uh, and its presentation in the, in the media. Uh, I try to focus and find as much as uh, possible <clears throat> uh, some uh, uh, TV, TV shows and uh, discussions and documentaries dealing with the countries of uh, former Yugoslavia. <clears throat> and I would focus on one, uh, which was, uh, it was a Slovak, uh, uh, well, it was a this TV, TV discussion, uh, which was uh, devoted uh, directly to uh, Srebrenica. Uh, well, the next part, uh, I cannot uh, I cannot present uh, everything what I have uh, what I have found on uh, Srebrenica genocide, but I think in, important is that uh, I also looked uh, on uh, internet and various websites, uh, journals published on the internet, uh, blogs, uh, and this is the most controversial and maybe uh, the most dangerous part uh, of this of this work and uh, most dangerous, uh, I mean that uh, a lot of people, uh, even in Slovakia or Czech Republic, they, they write on, on uh, Srebrenica, but without any, uh, without any further uh, critics. Uh, so they, they publish what would they find somewhere else or what, what do they think and people read it and generally uh, ordinary people are keen on to accept uh, those, those uh, uh, those articles on the internet and uh, the truth uh, seekers or uh, the, this part of the of the story 
Then uh, a last part of uh, my work, uh, I try to elaborate uh, uh, a survey among uh, our students of bachelor and master degree. Uh, at my university, uh, every one of them uh, um, are students of, of uh, history uh, or history in combination with other other subjects some of them uh, have uh, come through the the courses on the on the Balkans um, and I would say that the, the result uh, were quite surprising uh, for me and I would be really scared to make it uh, make such a questionnaire or survey on secondary school I think uh, the results will be even worse so and uh, just uh, just to say uh, or put focused, I I try to uh, put m much focus on, or more focus on on denial of Srebrenica genocide because the, the the this perception would be for a really uh, really uh, big uh, big work. So uh, the first uh, uh, to tell uh, is that uh, even Slovakia uh, has been connected to, to Bosnia and Herzegovina even more than, than people usually in Slovakia think. And it was uh, via personality of Miroslav Lajčák, who is now uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs of uh, Slovakia and was high representative for Bosnia and Herzegovina uh, for a few years. Uh, uh, people uh, usually do not know a lot of uh, about what happened in Srebrenica, what happened in Yugoslavia. They usually know they, okay, th th there happened so some war, and some war between Croats and, and Serbs, and they, they, they really do not know much more. So uh, uh, when we look on the political spectrum in Slovakia, uh, usually they accept the universal opinion of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, even though that there are some extreme political uh, parts who do not identify, identify themselves with this attitude, and they usually present some Russophile uh, 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 and um, other, I would say, um, not, uh, uh, not, uh, not this uh, universal. Uh, attitudes toward uh, towards what happened in the Srebrenica. Uh, well, it's not a justification. It's just the it's just the command that the Slovak society has been for centuries uh, somehow connected to to, to Russia. Even the the, the, the greatest uh, national leaders in the 19th century, for example, Jan Kolav wrote that Russia is that uh, mighty oak tree to rely on. Also. Ludovic Stur, uh, the founder of the modern Slovak language, uh, uh, wrote the work The Slavdom and the World of the Future, where he predicted that the Russia will be the, the leader and the unifier of the Slavs. And also Slovak have to, Slovaks have to uh, be with them and rely on, on them. Some uh, Slovaks uh, didn't want to fight uh, against the uh, USSR. Uh, during the Second World War, when they, uh, the Slovak army had to join uh, the German army to fight against the uh, Russians, so they, they, they really didn't want. So um, somehow it's, it's, it's logical uh, uh, for, for Slovaks, but there, there are so <clears throat> some, uh, some uh, views uh, which are uh, controversial. Uh, it is very nice to see or very uh, clear when you look on the Kosovo independence. Well, that's not the, the, the story for today, but it's very important uh, uh, in, in Slovak society and uh, generally uh, Slovaks and Slovak, uh, those uh, right-winged uh, political parties are against the independence. So, but, but I, as I said, it's the, the other story. So uh, I will not read uh, the whole, it, it, it's much longer, uh, as I have communicated with the Slovak Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They send me an official statement, so uh, just maybe the, the uh, first uh, sentence in Srebrenica, killing more than 800 Bosniak men. Well, uh, that's the problem that Slovak language does not know the distinction between Bosnian and Bosniak. We usually say, 
Bosniansky, Bosniacki. There, there's no d distinction. Uh, so ju just a comment. The Czech language uh, knows the, the, the division between the territorial and uh, national, uh, I would say, uh, uh, understanding of the of the term Bosnian and Bosniak. So, uh, and boys whose only guild was being a member of a particular ethnic group. Uh, it fulfilled the definition of genocide in the true sense of the word. Genocide has been used uh, by the International Criminal Tribunal for the former Yugoslavia and the International Court of Justice and its uh, judgment about Serbia's responsibility for genocide in Bosnia and Herzegovina. So, as I said, it's much, much longer, but it's, it's clear clearly said it was genocide and uh, the numbers are uh, clear too. So that's just uh, uh, to show that uh, there are a, lo a lot of groups and uh, political activists uh, who support Kosovo uh, as a part of uh, Serbia, as I, I have been talking uh, about, uh, about this. So uh, uh, due to uh, the uh, shorter time, uh, I try not to discuss uh, the, the term uh, genocide or or uh, other terms. As I said, uh, well, uh, if we uh, if we uh, look on the Slovak press and uh, what has been published uh, on Srebrenica, uh, there generally there appear there, there appear three terms, and in Slovak it's genocida, that's genocide, genocide uh, in in Bosnian. Uh, massacre, it's a massacre, and uh, ethnic chistka, ethnic cleansing, ethnic uh, So th these are the three terms which are connected usually, generally, in 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 uh, in the press. Uh, so if we look on the on the dailies, on the newspaper, so. Uh, for example, in the daily Pravda, which means uh, the truth, uh, uh, there appeared uh, an article, Netherlands bears part of the blame for the massacre in Srebrenica, the court decided. So there's, you, there is used word massacre, and it's also repeated in the text. For example, the another uh, daily, Daily Sme, brought an uh, article titled uh, General Krstic, sentence uh, 46 years in prison for the genocide in Srebrenica. So uh, now you can see that uh, in the another daily there is a term uh, genocide, not, not, the, not the massacre. So I would say that uh, this is not a, a tendency to, uh, as I would say, that uh, to make uh, the crime happen in Srebrenica uh, not uh, uh, not important uh, in in the in the point of view of Slovak journalists, but uh, I think I think that the Slovak journalists uh, uh, consider uh, a massacre in Srebrenica as a part of the whole of the whole conflict of the whole genocide on on, on Bosniak uh, people. So I think that's that's the reason why they use one's uh, massacre and one's uh, genocide. Uh, then uh, there are apart from the mainstream mainstream journals there are uh, a lot of other journals that i have said and one of them is uh, it's called in slovak zem avek or earth and age uh, you can see the printed version of uh, this uh, this uh, uh, journal well it's a project of alternative uh, media um, it uh, tries to show the you know so called the the opposite side of the of the story uh, and there, uh, for example, in, in this one appeared uh, the article called uh, Persistent Srebrenica Propaganda, uh, which was previously published on the Czech uh, website, Kosovo Online CZ. Okay, uh, again, you can see the connection with, with, with Kosovo, as I have been talking about this, uh, which uh, brings or offers an uh, interview with U.S. attorney Stefan Karganovic, uh, uh, author or he chairs the historical uh, project Srebrenica. <clears throat> uh, and uh, there uh, it's uh, translated into Slovak and uh, there appeared that uh, Srebrenica was like a Katyn massacre and other things which generally lead to non-acceptance and denial of the, of the crime. Uh, so, 
uh, I would skip uh, skip that. Uh, also, uh, far right uh, political parties in Slovakia. Uh, a lot of them, uh, as I wanted to address them and communicate with them, they they uh, didn't answer. They they didn't reply. They they didn't want they didn't want to talk with me. Uh, well, most of them uh, present uh, extremist uh, views. For example, you can see the, the, those parties. Each, each of them is far right, or even 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 more. Uh, uh, you can see the the and their signs and uh, one of them uh, one of the uh, well one, one block of uh, it's uh, a party called Slovenska Pospolito Slovak Fellowship uh, which brought article in uh, uh, a few years ago what about our democratic media silent who are the real criminals so uh, and this uh, this uh, article clearly showed that uh, they do not accept uh, Srebrenica as, gen as genocide. Even more, uh, they uh, do not accept the official numbers of, of the victims. Well, okay, I would... Uh, I would, uh, I would, I will have to go uh, move on because uh, of the time. Uh, just a few words on historiography in, in Czech uh, and, and Slovak countries. There are mainly three personalities. One is uh, a Bosniak uh, from uh, from Zenica, Adin Luca, who lives in uh, in Czech Republic for longer time, and he published uh, one article. Uh, in which uh, he wrote that there is insufficient knowledge about what happened in uh, in Yugoslavia during the uh, during the war. He also criticized criticized uh, uh, leading Czech historians like uh, Ladislav Latki. I think uh, a lot of, of a lot of you know uh, the name who also wrote on on uh, Bosnian question. And uh, from the uh, from the younger generation, it's under Andrei Zila. Who published? Uh, it's from. Uh, it's. Uh, it was published two years ago. Jedna uh, jedina moja domovina. It's uh, the book on ethno-demographical uh, changes of Bosnia and Herzegovina in uh, uh, years from the Second World War to to uh, to present. Uh, well, uh, I will move on to uh, last two parts in very quick way. Uh, and I would say that uh, if we, if I, I have to uh, speak m more about denial of Srebrenica genocide, uh, Slovak uh, television published, uh, well, uh, broadcasted the uh, uh, a TV discussion from the series Under the Lamp. It's called, it's the title of the series which was broadcasted for a long uh, period of time. And the name was uh, Slovakia, Mladic, Srebrenica, Serbia, and what do we learn uh, or teach our, our children? And uh, in this uh, particular uh, part appeared Jan Czarnogórski. Uh, who is a former politician, and he was the he was the minister of justice in the Slovak Republic. Who uh, really, uh, I would say, uh, misunderstood the whole uh, the whole thing because he he even didn't mention Bosniak people. He he was talking about Mohammedan. So uh, in Bosnian Muhammadanats, he, he called in this way Bosniak people. Uh, he also discussed the numbers even from six to eight. Uh, and then uh, he, uh, he described uh, genocide in Srebrenica as a result of Nasser Oric's attacks uh, on Serbian population. So even uh, to be uh, uh, to finish it, uh, the other uh, participants of the discussion they denied his his uh, ideas. But it's very uh, it's very interesting that uh, the the leader of the Christian Democratic Movement in Slovakia, former dissident, uh, he fought against communism. Uh, could say things like uh, this, and just the uh, in uh, very quick. Uh, uh, way uh, how ended uh, or how uh, my survey uh, results were. So uh, there were three questions. You can you can see them, uh, uh, and uh, out of the 73 students were correct in all three questions. Only 18% of the of the total. 
more successful were students in the in the questions itself, but I think it's a very low number. Uh, so the Slovak students, university students, really do not know what happened in in uh, in Srebrenica. Uh, even more, there were some uh, answers which surprised me that Srebrenica is located in Russia or in Poland. It was a conflict of the Islam and Christianity. It was the genocide of Serbs or Albanians, and it took place in 17th, 18th century. So, <clears throat> well, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, well, uh, to say logical, not, not logical, but uh, the Balkans uh, in Slovakia is taught only in, 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 uh, in marginal way. Even we had a close, uh, close relations, close, close tights. Uh, so, uh, thank you very much for your attention.